Hey ladies and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley here. If it is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can keep in contact with me all summer long. Matter of fact, all year long, okay? And if you are interested in achieving this summertime effortless no makeup makeup look, then please just keep watching and I'm going to be using all my new Jones Road beauty products along with some other things so make sure you check the description box if you want to know exactly what I use it will be all in the description box so let's get started into this no makeup makeup look for summer 2021 we outside hey y'all what's goody so let's get started with this summer makeup routine all right so you already see I have my eyebrows on so that's already done so let's get into, I got a couple products from Jones Road. Jones Road is a makeup brand that Dobby Brown has taken over. She created this brand. So this is what the packaging looks like for Jones Road. So I'm going to be using some of these products. I have been a Bobby Brown fan for so long, like just from like the shadows. Like when I first started getting into makeup and stuff like that, she, she was the OG. She was the one who made the girls look natural and beautiful. So... I wanted to definitely get my hands on some of her new products so we're going to use some of these products and I dug into some of these last night so they're kind of dirty but you know still get a job done so the first two things that I want to show you guys and I'm already moisturized I have on my black girl sunscreen I don't want to do a lot this summer I'm getting more mature and the cake face is too hot so let's see what we can create with just a little bit of product Okay, so I have these two concealer sticks. Well, actually, they're not concealer sticks. They're called the Face Pencil. I have shade 16 and shade 18. So we're going to use these simultaneously. So this is what shade 18 is giving. And I think it matches my skin tone pretty well. I've had some recent breakouts, so I'm just going to go in and... Let me bring you guys closer. Bear with me because I'm in a space a new space so I'm gonna just go ahead and conceal any dark marks that I see and also keep in mind with these facial pencils you're gonna need a sharpener so I went ahead and purchased the sharpener just because I saw some reviews on the website and they were saying like I wish you guys had told us we were gonna need a sharpener but I'm like who doesn't know that but hey I got the sharpener. Okay, y'all, and then I'm also going to take shade number 16, and I'm just going to go under my eyes with this. Not a whole, whole lot. Name of the game is a natural face. And honestly, this is going to be ideal if you're like on a trip with the girls or with your boo and, you know, you guys want to go to dinner and it's like, okay, let me put on something, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So that I don't look like a dead corpse. Drop the roof and let the smoke And for me, the name of the game for summer is a tan. So get your sunscreen out, protect yourself, but get you a tan, okay? Stop. Stop being afraid of the sun, especially my black girls. Stop being afraid of the sun. There is nothing wrong with a beautiful, golden... Hey, girl, we back. Okay, we back. All right, you guys, I was moving a little bit too fast. My camera overheated, so let's slow it down. So I have the product on my face, of course, and I'm going to blend it out. I added a little bit more because I have a recent little cluster of dark marks from a breakout, and I have to work a little bit harder to conceal those these days. So until they kind of fade away, this is where we are. So... This product to the touch, I would say it has a medium like consistency and I almost want to say use your fingers because I know Bobbi Brown does a lot of work with her fingers and you know it heats up the product and things like that. So 
again i do want to go for a more natural look dare i say blend it out and you know what i kind of want to do i kind of want to do this let's see this is the oil stick so this is a what the this is a hydration stick okay again i was playing with this stuff last night kind of off two glasses of wine so i'm just gonna take my fingers and roll it across the top so i'm going to blend this out because my under eyes can get pretty dry and i haven't found the perfect product yet to uh, deal with it so i'm gonna use my ring finger and i'm gonna blend that out with the oil stick just because why not Ooh, I do like the way that looks. Okay, another little the other side. And what I kind of want to do see how this is looking close up oh my god that is really pretty that is really pretty okay <laughs> okay and i'm just gonna do a little bit this is rare beauty foundation in 410 neutral i'm just gonna do a little bit so you see where i have the dark marks so I'm just going to do a little stipple. I really do love this foundation. Um, I went to Sephora today and one of the girls said she just can't get into it. She said it moves around. Mm, I haven't really had a problem with it. So I'm going to let that sit for a bit before I blend it out. But while we wait... You know what? I don't. I really like this shade 16 under my eyes. Like, I want to add more for some reason. It's so pretty. And then the moisturizer stick, the oil stick, blending it out. I really like it. Dramatically change, I promise you. There's a difference between being receptive and being defensive. And oftentimes we've mistaken vulnerability for weakness. Vulnerability is receptivity. And you can't manifest if you can't receive. You feel me? So when we speak in the negatives and we talk about, oh, but there's no one in my town. I'm not, I'm not going to meet anyone here. I know everyone. Or, oh, the dating apps suck. People never follow through. That's you focusing on negatives. So it's you putting up a wall of defensiveness. And you don't realize, but you block your blessings when you do that. You block them. Rather than admitting to yourself, this is what I truly want and speaking from that place. An example is there's more power in saying, um, I really do want. All right, so now we're going to do the Jones Road Miracle Balm. So this Miracle Balm is basically supposed to just, as the name suggests, create a miracle. It's like, no, I don't know. I can't remember. We're going to apply it. I believe it comes in different shades. And I kind of just want it to just give, I don't know, this is coming out horrible, I don't know. Honestly, I think it's just one of those things that you can just kind of use to give your skin like a little gleam, a little effortless 
sun kiss situation maybe that's what I was envisioning in my mind honestly like I said if you're on vacation if you're just having a cute little summer day if you're having a picnic if you're going to brunch heck if you're meeting someone for the first time and you want to do something but you don't don't you don't want to do the most I think these products would be cute Just to wake you up a bit, I think I need to add a little more foundation to the forehead. But God, your girl broke out. And I think you can just add this all over the body too. This is in the color bronze, by the way. I don't think you're going to be able to see anything. But again, these products are not like bam, wow, chicka bow, wow. They are very like so. I just want to try that model no makeup makeup thing once in my life okay and I think most of us are there we just don't want to do the cake face this summer I think we just don't want to do it okay I I think what I want to try is the oil. Let me clean it off first. I think I want to try the oil on the eyelid situation. Because who wants dry, crusty eyelids? Not me. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna go all over my face with this Sephora powder. This is the Micro Smooth powder, and this is in the shade Deep. This is just what it looks like. So I've been kind of using this to kind of just tie everything together lately. So I've been just kind of patting it. I don't think it really does much, but it kind of sets and doesn't make me look so ghostly. And then to contour or fontour, which is like my version of a fake contour, but just to add some color to the face, I use my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin blurring powder foundation in shade y505 and it looks like this comes with a sponge but ew so i just kind of and this has a lot of fallout so tap 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 bam and i know it seems like i'm still applying quite a bit of makeup but for me it's really not <laughs> So I always like to go around my hairline because I don't know, like, it just don't be matching. And I just lightly, so I don't disrupt much. I kind of just add that little shadow, you know what I mean? Especially about my hairline. Girl, my hairline is very deceptive. And I always like to hit the jaw and chin area. just for insurance I've really been into blush so you already know we about to blush it up so because it's now getting to summer I'm gonna use my NARS orgasm X and it just gives this shimmer situation be very very careful especially if you have clear skin fine you're good but if you have kind of like acne scars and things like that just be careful when you apply all your products because you don't want to disrupt and move things around so 
especially depending on your brush. Sometimes these brushes will freaking fool you, girl. So I'm actually lightly applying this. And also be sure to blend your blush out really well because patchy blush just gives. <laughs> so, you know, got to do things right. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, some mascara. So I got some new mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I want to give it a go. I have been using the Chanel mascara that I got as a sample, like a free little sample. And it's cool. It has like the white fiber thing and then you put on the mascara but I really don't have time to be doing all that so we're gonna use this okay I like how long the applicator is the main reason I even bother with mascara these days is just to So my eyes don't look so dead I'm pretty sure that's why everybody does it but I don't know sometimes after the spring my eyes just look so dead for some reason like I don't have thick lashes so I really don't like wearing mascara but it's like girl try But I am also somebody who really enjoys the full face of makeup look with nothing on the eyes. I've always kind of just been into that. Um, everybody doesn't get it, but hell, I really do kind of still like it. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this mascara just because like, hmm. I don't feel like applying that many coats and this is one of the ones that you f it feels like you have to apply a couple of coats and then I also don't like to look like I'm trying because this is like a no try look if that makes sense and I usually skip the bottom lashes during the day but at night you can definitely go for it you can do whatever you want it's your world Okay, I really don't want to try. Alright. Last, 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 last but not least. Get this Vaseline off. I'm going to use my ColourPop. I believe this is BFF2 or BFF3. It's rubbed off at this point. But I always use it. Liner. You don't have to do a liner. I'm just kind of seeing what this looks like because I haven't tried this look in a while. I usually just put the gloss on without liner but we're going to use my lip gloss Basics of Beauty lip gloss. This is the clear one. This is Basic Beauty. Okay shop this on my website. I'll leave the link down below. And honestly, I'll be right back. Okay, girls. So, of course, if you want to add just an extra little touch for summertime, you can add your little powder highlight, which I'm going to do. I just feel like it just makes me feel more alive. So, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs. This is the Guilty Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. So, I'm just going to add this right here right there this is not even the brush that i typically use so don't judge My phone always wanna die. 
y'all. Okay guys, so of course you can just add your setting spray just to tie everything together and keep everything where it's supposed to be. And I use the Smashbox Photo Finish. Don't forget your perfume of choice. I love this Tom Ford Sola Blanc. And this is what I will be wearing most of the summer, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this summertime makeup routine and let me know if you guys purchase any of the products or if you've been curious about them or anything i'm gonna link everything down below and this is something new for me y'all so i think i like it all right i will see you guys in my next video make sure you like comment and subscribe bye guys